Hi readers, are you ready to do some learning together today? Today, we are going to pick up our pencils and do some interactive writing. Materials. Along with your pencil, you'll need to grab a piece of paper. Let's get started. We have two learning targets today. Here they are. I can sort words with the endings sly y, i, and ing, ing. And I can collaborate with my teacher to write a sentence with vc, cvc, ccvc, and high frequency words. Let's get writing. Sorting words is lots of fun. We make a change to R-U-N. A different vowel changes run to ran. We find some rhymes like can and ran. Look for words that sound the same. That's how we're going to play a sorting game. Sounds. Today, we are going to play a new game called Sort It Out. I am going to say a word out loud, and then you will tell me which column it belongs in. Let's look at our two columns. The first one is for words with the sly Y, where the Y says the long I sound, but there's just three sounds. The second column is with words that have the ending ing. These words have four or more sounds. Let's try one together. The word is cry. You can tap that out with me. K, er, I, cry. Which column do you think it belongs in? I agree. You can see that the word cry has the sly Y at the end. All right, it's your turn. The word is spying. Let's tap it out. S-p-i-ing, spying. Which column do you think the word spying belongs in? Mm-hmm, that's right. The word spying has four sounds or phonemes. S-p-i-ing. That last sound, ing, is made by the I-N-G that work together as a unit. Let's try one more word together. The word is dry. Tap out that word. D, er, I, dry. Where do you think it belongs? I can't fool you, you're right. The word dry goes in the first column. It has just three sounds and it has that sly Y at the end. Great job playing your first round of Sort It Out. Now let's all be writers, be writers, be writers. Now let's all be writers like the authors we love. Listen to the sentence, the sentence, the sentence. Listen to the sentence we will write as a group. Writing. We are going to do some interactive writing now and write a whole sentence. You'll need your piece of paper and your pencil in just a moment. Today's sentence is, the robin is flying. Say that whole sentence with me. The robin is flying. Let's look at the first word in our sentence. 
the. That's right. The word the is a high frequency word. When you look at that word, what do you notice? What do I need to fix? You're right. I need to change that lowercase t to an uppercase t because the is the first word in our sentence. The robin is flying. Before we write our next word, what do I need to do after the word the? Mm -hmm. I need to leave a finger space. Let's tap out that word robin together. Er, ob, in, robin. Now take a peek. That word has five letters and five sounds. Let's go ahead and write what we have so far on your piece of paper. The Robin. Start that word the with an uppercase T. Starting at the top line, pull straight down and then cross at the top line. The letter H also is a tall letter. It starts at the top line, pull down, up, over, make a hump. And then for that lowercase e, starting just under the middle line, pull over, back, and around. You just wrote the word the. Go ahead and put your finger down on your paper to leave a space, and then start the word Robin. With that letter R at the middle line, pull down, up, and over. And an O, pull back and around, all the way around. The letter B is a tall letter. Start at the top line, pull down, up, and around. And then write an I and an N. Both of those letters start at the middle line. Okay, you can put your pencil down and help me with the rest of our sentence. The robin is flying. But before I write the word is, I need to leave a, a space. And then the high frequency word is, is spelled I S. And then the last word in our sentence has a sly Y in it, flying. Tap out the word flying with me. F -o -i -ing, flying. You'll notice that the word flying has the unit ing at the end. And then finally, what do we need to put at the end of our sentence to show the reader we're finished? Mm-hmm, a period. It rests right on the line. Go ahead and pick up your pencil so you can write the second half of your sentence. So far you have the robin. You can leave a space and then Write the high frequency word is. I S. Then leave another finger space. We have some tall letters to start the word flying. The lowercase f starts just under the top line. You pull back. Bump the top line, hook and down, and then cross at the middle line. An L starting at the top, pull down, and then remember the Y is slant in, slant and down. 
and then an I N G. Pull down and dot for the I, the N. Pull down, up, over, make a hump. And finally, that lowercase g starts like a magic C. Pull back and around, up, down, under, make a hook. And then you can add that period, not a beach ball, to the end of your sentence. Wow. Let's celebrate your writing by reading that sentence with a loud and proud voice. Point under each word as you read it. Here we go. The robin is flying. Closing reflection. Wow, today you helped me sort words by listening closely to the sounds and you wrote words that you can tap out and some high frequency words. Way to go. As you were writing, how did tapping out the sounds help you with your spelling? I am so impressed with the writing you did today. In our next lesson, we will be celebrating and practicing all of the things that we've been learning during this cycle. I can't wait for you to join me.